Joachim is one of the, the Jump developers and he's going to be telling us about the, the work they've been doing on Kubo problems. Uh, so take it away. Thank you. So this is some sort of a quick update on the last year talk. We had a talk on Kubo last year. So if you want more details, go over there. There's a bunch of talks as well. So let me just go through this really fast because we have like seven minutes. Perfect. Um, there we go. So Kubo.jl, now we, we didn't change the name. The previous name was 2Kubo, which was the package for doing reformulations to mathematical programming, regular stuff, 2Kubos, which are these quadratic, unconstrained, binary optimization problems. But now we created sort of a meta package to encapsulate the whole ecosystem. So first thing is that, well, I have a few co-authors in this work, so... Pedro and Pedro from PSR, Nelson from uh, the State University in Rio, Thiago from PSR, and David Bernal from Purdue in NASA. Um, I will skip this. PSR is a company in Brazil that works with power systems and consulting and software development. And, well, this is the jump to Kubo, the thing that we that I was talking about. We saw you could see from last year's talk. So you can write a jump model. You can call this two Kubo thing, and then you can kind of um, use this Kubo uh, formulations in in your Kubo solvers. Okay, so we increased the ecosystem. So since then, we added this Kubo driver things and Kubo tools things. So I will talk really fast about them and everything is in this new kubo.jl package you just import that you can use there is a paper online explaining whatever we have done and the nice thing is that well actually the challenge is it's a quadratic objective problem with no constraints and binary variables is equivalent to a max quad so why do we care about that and the reason is that well there is some really interesting solvers many of them in the side of quantum computing and the idea is that we want to leverage that and again you can start with a mixed integer nonlinear program you convert that to kubo and that's the tool that i was talking about to do that you need to do some tricks and i will skip the tricks which include converting variables from continuous to var to binary and things like that so you have a simple problem like this um, portfolio allocation problem, you try to pass that to D-Wave, that won't work because it only accepts Kubos, but then you can wrap D-Wave in the two Kubo optimizer so that it will perform automatic reformulation. Um, there is this analogy, you're going from jump to a Kubo solver, there is this reformulator, it's like, in some sense, like Julia having LLVM in between some assembly thing. Just like everything in Julia, Kubo is really um, flexible, so you can mess around a lot with that. Um, and, well, the thing I want to detail a little bit is, well, now you have jump to Kubo, and then you have to tackle, uh, to attach a solver over there. And how you do that is you use this Kubo driver package, which is something that is very similar to many things that are already in MathOpt interface. So if you are used to MathOpt interface, you might have seen something like caching optimizer, um, matrix optimizer, many of these in-between packages that help you move from one place to the other. So this Kubo driver thing is something that helps you wrap your Kubo solver. So if you have something that is just a Kubo solver, you don't have to go all the way and do all the implementation of a uh, regular jump wrapper, uh, you just use this thing and it's really easy to implement. Um, second thing, okay, so this is just an example of wrapping a solver, which is really simple. We have implemented a bunch of interfaces with that, so there's like eight right now and maybe more in the next months. And then we were like, well, we are solving a bunch of Kubo problems, so maybe we need some extra utilities, and we sent all of them to this Kubo tools thing, in which we have, well, a few things. One of them is a bunch of specialized data structures that can communicate Kubo models to a bunch of different data formats. It was interesting because we passed some of the these Kubo problems to MQlib, so 
Ian Dunning from Jump, again showing up, but not in Jump, in this MQLib package. Um, more stuff that we do in this Kubo tools thing is uh, you can analyze the quadratic matrix of your thing. You can analyze the solutions uh, in, in terms of energy and frequency. If you are into quantum computing, you'll know a little bit of that. Uh, we can talk about more about that offline. And everything is in this Kubo package. And this is pretty much how things are connected. So you have Kubo solvers. They, they attach to Kubo drivers. They use Kubo tools format. If you want to send them to jump, you pass through Kubo to Kubo and then you arrive at jump. But you can also do analysis and handle files. Mm, this is kind of a summary of a bunch of things that we implemented comparing to other uh, software that do kind of similar stuff. So encoding variables, you can't, well, because you only accept binary variables, you have to do some binary expansions and things like that. So you can do a, some variations of that. And which constraints do you handle? Nowadays, we handle like linear, quadratic, equality, quadratic, SOS. And we're working towards representing this kind of SAT or logic formulation things. Um, that would be interesting to be able to write that as macros in jump. So that's one of the things we want to experiment soon. Um, finally, there's just a benchmark we did in the paper. You feel free to look at it. There's one with the tra traveling salesman problem and another one with the number partitioning problem. We're just showing here that we can build the problem much faster than these other Python packages that even use C++ downstream. So, yep, again, Julia is doing things very fast. Um, finally, this is what we are trying to do. So bridge the OR people to this quantum computing thing. It's like you don't need to know much about the quantum hardware, hardware and things like that. You can just write whatever problem you have in Jump and it will give you the, the new nice things. Um, finally, current research and next steps, we are trying to model some example power systems problems and we are going to do some benchmarking on many of these solvers that we implemented. And thank you for listening.